What's up you guys? It's your girl Liz and today I am back with a new tag video for you. So today we are here with the Never Have I Ever tag. So I have a couple of other question tags that I have like bookmarked and ready to like put up for you guys later um, that might have some repeated questions but this is a Never Have I Ever when we used to play this in high school, we used to play this in beauty school at the end of the year when like half of us were licensed and we didn't even need to be sitting around like this. And if you had, you would have to put a finger down and whoever would be first out, it would be like, ooh. And then like we would do like a truth or dare for that person individually as everybody got out. Figured it would be a cool little info for you guys. And let's jump into it. Never have I ever give yourself one point for each time you haven't. Okay, so, broken a bone. One, I have never broken a bone. But I do have this like sloping, crooked nose type thing going on here, if you can see where it goes crooked right there. Um, I was wearing like these like little chunky platform heels in fourth grade, and this little boy Alex that was trying to flirt with me tried to push me. It was like in between like the monkey bars and the slide part of like the playground, and it was like this little thing with like monkey bars, and it went like this, and then it went down, and you were supposed to like walk across it. So he like legit pushed me, and I fell right on my nose. They never said I broke it, they never said I fractured it, but that's my nose. Never have I ever skipped school. Um, I will say that the only time I ever skipped class was government in ninth grade. Got, uh, caught in the hallway and we got in school suspension for the next like two class periods of that class, which wasn't really much of a punishment because we already skipped class and now we get to miss class two more times together. Um, but that was the only time that in the last, last, last day for school in senior year, me and Kelly kind of dipped out a little bit early, but I did have my dad call the school and tell them that I had permission to leave early with Kelly is exclusively. So it wasn't really skipping school, but never have I ever fired a gun. I have fired a gun. Never have I ever been skydiving. I have never been skydiving. Kelly went without me last summer and I really, really wish I would have just kind of nut up and went with her, you know? Never have I ever ridden in a limo. I have never, ever ridden in a limo. Never have I ever had braces. I have never, ever had braces. Funny story. My brother had braces twice in a row, one summer apart of not wearing his retainer and everything shifting back. So. Never have I ever gotten a massage. I have indeed gotten a massage having been in cosmetology school and learning massage therapy techniques. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. I have indeed two tattoos and I really want a third very soon. Never have I ever been swimming in the ocean. I have indeed been swimming in the ocean. Never have I ever dyed my hair. The blue is right here to contest. I have indeed dyed my hair. Wait, did I have three or four? Oh shit. I moved my hand and now I forgot. My fingers look all crooked with this black background. Never have I ever watched Star Wars. So I will say I don't even know like the last two or maybe three that have come out recently in the past couple of years. I have never watched. But the first six, that's my shit. Never have I ever ridden a horse. I have ridden a horse. I've ridden like a pony when I was a kid. Does that count? But never have I ever ridden an actual horse, which needs to be marked off of the bucket list this summer as well. Kelly, hint, hint. Never have I ever given birth. Thank God I have never, ever given birth. Never have I ever sung karaoke. I, oh wait, no. So yeah, I get a point for not having given birth. So never have I ever sung karaoke. I have indeed sung karaoke. Never have I ever gotten a ticket. I have indeed gotten a ticket. I remember I got five points. Let me tell you real quick. So while my mother was teaching me how to drive a vehicle at 15, no, at like 17 years old, we would drive from the house in the neighborhood to the school in the neighborhood and back. First day, literally the first three hours, guys, that I got my provisional driving license where I can take myself on the road by myself. Nobody in PD, uh, reckless and in reckless endangerment, um, driving imprudent and impedent, uh, rec careless of something of somebody around you. I got like five tickets literally three hours after I got my provisional driving test. So I have indeed gotten a ticket and I got one like 
five days ago too, so. Never have I ever been scuba diving. I have never been scuba diving, but once again, hopefully that is an activity that's soon to come. Never have I ever eaten sushi. Of course I've eaten sushi. Never have I ever been on a train. I have never ever been on a train. Never have I ever gone zip lining. No, I have never ever gone zip lining. So, um, wait, I was at this many. Um, so I have never ever gone zip lining. There was an attraction in Myrtle Beach that I wanted to do, but it was literally like one stand to the other stand, like a quarter mile apart in the wide open. Like I want to go zip lining in nature. My mother has gone and I really want to go where she has been, but that, again, that is on the to-do list, Kelly, hint, hint. Never have I ever been camping. I have never officially been camping and if these are high school rules I'm almost out um, never have I ever eaten food that has fallen on the floor yes I have eaten food that has fallen on the floor have I ever traveled out of the country yes I have traveled out of the country I've been to Dubai and I've been to Pakistan never have I ever been in an ambulance I have in fact been in an ambulance I was in an ambulance Three years ago, my husband and I got in a really bad car accident. Before that, I might have possibly been in an ambulance as a child. I do not remember. I will double check with my mother, and I'm sure she's going to comment below. Mom, have I ever been in an ambulance as a child? Yes or no? And I've still got this one point, guys. Never have I ever met someone famous. I have indeed met as somebody famous. I have met. 3LW, including Adrian Baylon and the two other ones that nobody cares about. And I have also met Ryan Cabrera in person, who used to date Ashley Simpson and had like one CD out at like one time. And like now I'm sure he's a nobody again. But I met him when he was a somebody. He toured the malls of America. He came to our mall. I shook his hand. I took a picture and I got a kiss on the cheek. So here. So the next question is never have I ever been on TV. When I first got my cosmetology license, no, correction, a month before I got my cosmetology license, I worked at a salon here in Southern Maryland where I live, and he, this owner of this salon, applied to Bravo and like MTV, WeTV, all, all these other things for a reality TV salon show. Now this was back when Jersey Licious was like the freaking show to watch. Parents had to come to work because I was under 18 at the time. They had to sign waivers to like release any footage that I may be in the background of. And WeTV, Bravo, and MTV executives have seen my face in the background of the salon servicing real customers while the owner of the salon was servicing a fake actor customer for this like demo reel kind of thing. So yes, I have second to last question is where I'm going to get out of this game if we're going by, like I said, high school rules. Have you, never have I ever been on a cruise. No, I have never been on a cruise. Um, Hubby and I meant to cruise to the Bahamas last year and we've spoken of trying to cruise to Bermuda for a four day cruise this upcoming year. I'm still not sure what we're gonna get into. I really would actually love a four day cruise or a seven day cruise or a nine day cruise, but we will see what happens and you guys will get vlog footage of that event. Last question is never have I ever gotten pierced and I have indeed gotten pierced. We'll go over these really quickly, although I plan on doing a separate video with um, like procedural clips included. So I got my first piercings in like kindergarten when I was four or five and I gauged them all the way up to seven sixteenths of an inch, which was big enough for my thumbs to fit through at one time. I did get the second holes professionally done um, sometime in like middle school or so. I did get the third holes professionally done sometime in high school or so. Then I randomly decided in 11th grade to do my cartilage and I wore these really goofy pigtails or like braided, two like straight braids straight down for months because I was terrified of my mother seeing my ear because she always told me that if I ever pierced my ear, I would ruin my nerves and I would paralyze my face, but there's that. So I got that done and then um, I think like uh, July like 2012 or something like that, 
I got my industrial bar done here. And in 2014, uh, ironically, I pierced my fourth hole here. Um, I was with my husband in my uh, childhood bedroom at my parents' house at the time, and I asked him if I could pierce his ears, and he was like, no, there's no way I would ever let anybody but a professional do that. I'm sorry, guys, I'm holding my phone mount up right now. Everything kind of fell apart when I had died. Um, he was like, no, there's no way I'm gonna let anybody but a professional ever pierce, you know, my ears. So I literally picked up, I literally detached the sewing needle out of my sewing machine in my bedroom, and I just like balls to the wall, push it through my ear, no hesitation at all, and threw uh, this little diamond in it. So that is the only real diamond, other than, you know, on my rings. That's the only real diamond that I wear right there, and it's been in there for four years now. Uh, after that, I did get my nose done in like 2015, around like Mother's Day, I believe. And I also have had my belly button pierced for quite a few years. I believe that happened in like 2012, just after the industrial bar. No, that happened in 2012 before the industrial bar. So I did get 10 out of 29 that I never have had I ever. Um, so there was a little bit of facts about me. I'm really tired. Look, if I let go of my phone, this is what it's gonna do because it's plugged in. And there's a beautiful picture on my wall of wedding rings and vowels underneath of them. Whoop! And there goes my phone. So I have to cut off this video because this phone mount is just not trying to work anymore. I love each and every one of you guys and I will catch you on the flip.